So another big week for the Trump administration. Right. Judge Gorsuch, that rolled out one very smoothly, I think. Yes, it did. All yes, right. it did. But the uh, refugee deal, not so much. I think it was very smooth. You had 109 people out of hundreds of thousands of travelers. And all we did was vet those people very, very carefully. You wouldn't do anything differently if you had to do it over again? Look, I in mean, life some you of your people things. didn't really know what the order was. Well, that's not what General Kelly said. General Kelly, who's now Secretary Kelly, he said he totally knew, he was aware of it, and it was very smooth. It was 109 right. people. Let's talk about Iran. Uh, your assessment, uh, do you think we're on a collision course, we being the United States, with that country? I think it was the worst deal I've ever seen negotiated. I think it was a deal that should have never the been new negotiated. Deal Absolutely, the deal that was made by the Obama administration. Uh, I think it's a shame that we've had a deal like that and that we had to sign a deal like that and there was no reason to do it. And if you're going to do it, have a good deal. We gave them $1.7 billion in cash, which is unheard of. And uh, we put the money up, and we have really nothing to show for it. Possible you tear it up? We'll see what happens. I mean, we're going to see so what it's happens. Possible. I can say this they have total disregard for our country. Uh, they are the number one terrorist state. They're sending money all over the place and weapons, uh, and can't do that. Sanctions, that's how you're going to start with them. Just start it. But you're moving a carrier, right? I never talk about military moves. I always criticize President Obama where they'd have an announcement that they're going into Mosul or they're going right. to some place and they give the name, the date, the time. I don't believe in that. So you're not real uh, bullish on Iran at this point? No, I'm not bullish. I think they have total disrespect for our country. And I understand that deal, I would have lived with it if they said, OK, we're all together now. But, but it was just the opposite. It's like they're emboldened. Where they, they follow our planes, they circle our ships with their little boats, and they lost respect because they can't believe anybody could be so stupid as to make a deal like that. You talked to Putin last week. You had a busy week last week. I'm pretty busy week, yeah. Busy week and a half. Do you respect Putin? I do respect him. Do you? But Why? I, well, I respect a lot of people, but that doesn't mean I'm going to get along with him. He's a leader of his country. Uh, I say it's better to get along with Russia than not. And if Russia helps us in the fight against ISIS, which is a major fight, and Islamic terrorism all over the world, right. major fight, that's a good thing. Will I get along with him? I have no idea. It's He's very a possible killer, I though. Won't. Putin's a killer. A lot of killers. You got a lot of killers. Why, well, you think our country's so innocent? You think our country's so innocent? I don't know of any government leaders that are killers in America. Well, take a look at what we've done, too. We've made a lot of mistakes. I've been against the war in Iraq from the beginning. Yeah, mistakes are different then. A lot of mistakes, okay, but a lot of people were killed. So a lot of right. killers around, believe me. Let's talk about Mexico. There was a report. You talked to uh, President Nieto, and you told him this was the report. I want to know if it's true or not. That if his army couldn't handle the drug cartels, that U.S. Army soldiers would. Did you say that? We have to do something about the cartels. I did talk to him about it. I want to help him with it. I think he's a very good man. We have a very good relationship, as you probably know. He seemed very willing to get help from us because he has got a problem. Got a problem. And it's a real problem for us. Don't forget, those cartels are operating in our country and they're poisoning the youth of our country. At this point, do you consider Mexico a corrupt country? Because this stuff has been going on for decades. I love the people. Uh, I really like this administration. I think he's a good man. I, we get along very well. But they have problems controlling aspects of their country. There's no question about it. And I would say the drugs and the drug cartels, number one. Have you figured out what kind of a tariff you're going to levy on Mexico to pay for the wall? Well, right now, it's very unfavorable. Right now, we're losing our jobs to Mexico. You look at the plants. You look at these massive plants. Now, I have to tell you, I've turned it around already. I've turned it around. You see that. Ford has been phenomenal. They canceled the plant. They're building tremendous. Yeah, you intimidated them. You, no, they're no. afraid General of you. General Motors has married oh, Barra. They're been, afraid of you. You know these I companies. don't know if they're afraid. No, no, they want to do what's right. They're going they to bring jobs back. They want to do what's back. right? They're Why didn't they do what was right? In the past, they're afraid because of Because the wrong people spoke to them. But they're going to do what's right, and they're bringing jobs back to Michigan and Ohio right. and Pennsylvania and all the places that have lost the job. So that's already happening. I think you're going to see a tremendous job growth in this country. Let's turn to uh, domestic policy. I just spent the week in California. As you know, 
they are now voting on whether they should become a sanctuary state. So California and the USA are on a collision course. How do you see it? Well, I think it's ridiculous, uh, sanctuary cities. Uh, as you know, I'm very much opposed to sanctuary cities. They breed crime. There's a lot of problems. If we have to, we'll defund. We give tremendous amounts of money to California. So you're California, going to defund. California, in many ways, is out of control, as you know. Obviously, the voters agree. Otherwise, they wouldn't have voted for me. So defunding is your weapon of choice. Well, it's a weapon. I don't want to defund a but state you're willing or a to do city. It. I don't want to defund anybody. I want to give them the money they need to properly operate as a city or a state. If they're going to have sanctuary cities, we may have to do that. Certainly, that would be a weapon. Is there any validity to the criticism of you that you say things you can't back up factually? And as the president, if you say, for example, that there are three million illegal aliens who voted uh, and then you don't have the data to back it up, some people are going to say that's irresponsible for a president to say that. Is there any validity well, to that? Many people have come out and said, I'm right. You know that. I know, but you've got to have data you, to back that up. Let me just up. tell you. And it doesn't have to do with the vote, although that's a, the end result. It has to do with the registration. And when you look at the registration and you see dead people that have voted, when you see people that are registered in two states that voted in two states, when you see other things, when you see illegals, people that are not citizens and they're on the registration rolls. Look, Bill, we can be babies, but you take a look at the registration. You have illegals, you have dead people, you have this. It's really a bad situation. It's really bad. And so you think you're going to be proven correct in that statement? Well, I think I already have. A lot of people have come out and said that I am yeah, correct. Yeah, but the data has to show that three million illegals look, voted. Forget that. Forget all of that. Just take a look at the registration, and we're going to do it. And I'm going to set up a commission to be headed by Vice President Mike Pence. And we're going to look at it very, very carefully. Well, that's good. Let's yeah. get to the bottom of good. this. 2017, can Americans expect a tax cut? I think so, yes. And, and oh. I think before the end of the year, I would like to say yes. Okay. Can Americans in 2017 expect a new health care plan rolled out by the Trump administration this year? Yeah, in the process. And maybe it'll take till sometime into next year. But we are certainly going to be in the process. Very complicated. Obamacare is a disaster. You have to remember. Obamacare doesn't work. So we are putting in a wonderful plan. It's statutorily it takes a while to get. We're going to be putting it in fairly soon. I think that, yes, uh, I would like to say by the end of the year, uh, at least the rudiments, but we should have something within the year and the following year. All right, last question. You get four hours of sleep or some crazy thing like that. When your uh, head hits the pillow, do you ever say to yourself, I can't believe I'm here. I cannot believe that I am the president of the United States. Um, when I wasn't a politician, I didn't start out this way. I, I, that wasn't my life goal. Do you, does that ever come into your mind? Well, I, I must tell you, uh, the other day I walked into the main entrance of the White House. And I said to myself, this is sort of amazing. Or you walk into Air Force One. It's like a surreal experience in a certain way. But you have to get over it because there's so much work to be done, whether it's jobs or other nations that truly hate us. You have to get over it. Football, how do you see this game? Well, I, I like Bob Kraft. I like Coach Belichick. And Tom Brady is my friend. They're all taking gas because of that. You I know, know they're, they're taking they're, a lot of heat. Taking, right. But you know what? They're <laughs> also getting a lot of popularity out of it. I think they're going to do very well. Tom's a winner. So you're rooting, to win. you're rooting for the, the coach is a great coach. I think the other team is fantastic, though. No, I think it's a fantastic team. It turned out to be a good quarterback. But, you know, there's less pressure on the Patriots because they've been there. You know, yep. once you've won, once you've done it, and they've done it, once you've done it, there's a lot less pressure. So we'll see what happens. But, you know, you have to stick up for your friends, right? Sure. Um, now, Fox Sports is demanding I, uh, I ask you to make a prediction. Well, I hate to make predictions. But okay? you have to. I ha hate to do it, but I'll say. Because I won't leave unless I'll you say, do. I don't even know what are the odds. <laughs> I guess it's pretty even, right? Two great teams. Yeah, yeah. but you got it. Pretty even. So I'll say the Patriots will win. By how many points? By eight points. All right. So that's a good presidential prediction. I we'll mean, see. You know, and you don't need data on that. be doing those things, but that's okay. You don't need data on that. I need no data. Okay. Mr. President, thank thanks you. very much for taking thank the time. Much.